All right, so I was able to make a good color for the purple. And I also decided that what I'm gonna do is, uh, in fact, take the blowtorch and just go and sear just ever so slightly down the entire thing just to give it a fake flame look. Hopefully, it'll look good. I've never done this part before, but I'll do this in a light coat first, see if it looks okay, and then if I want to, I'll change it afterwards and do it in a darker coat. And then after that, apply the purple, and hopefully, I'll be happy with how it looks. Yeah, that's that's okay. Probably need a t different type, maybe a butane like little torch just to really make it some finer lines. But eh, it's not bad, I guess. Probably oh, the purple will probably actually completely cover it. So who knows? Maybe that was just completely worthless. But let's play the purple and see how it looks. That last guitar I also had that I built for a friend of mine also had a couple spots that didn't seem to want to stain. This one has the same thing. Hopefully I can do something about that.
but definitely happy with how the color looks though, that's for sure. So, after this dries, I'll think of a different thing. Maybe I'll take the blowtorch, nah, you know what, I won't do that again. I think what I'll do is maybe apply some black, maybe put some more black on it and just go along the outside edges with that. Really make it a little darker. There's a little bit left, so I think that's what I'll do. Okay. So let's wait this for this to dry just a little bit. Then yeah, I think that's what I'll do is just a little bit of black just along the other sides. These areas might be a bit of a problem because for some reason that's just really not getting some of the stain. Who knows, maybe there's still some of that uh, other type of top that's not the actual wood, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, the last part I'm going to stand is just the headstock. So, I already earlier just took the blowtorch to it. Again, just to take all that plasticky shit off and as well as uh, take the stain or whatever the, the hell you want to call it off of there. Then I sanded it down just to get rid of the rest of the purple around here and kept some of the char look. So, I think this should look fine. Just a light little bit of coat here and there. Oh, see right where the ash portion is, it's not really going to come out very well, but that's kind of the whole point. Make the entire thing purple, just make it dark. And then just show in certain areas. not very noticeable but that's the whole point just kind of bring it back with what it used to be <clears throat> let's see if I can at least change this thing though probably not no not at all gotta figure okay somehow I'm gonna have to change this thing because just by having that looks so weird and kind of ugly so gonna try and make this thing black or in a way all right and now for the next part it's gonna start applying the oil so i'm just gonna start with this with the headstock first just because i have just a little bit i need to put on there
Okay, so I put a couple of coats of oil on this thing. So far, I'm actually not too impressed by the uh, linseed oil. I might just go back to my true oil that I always use. But I th think my camera died because I don't think I have any footage of what I did before that. I sat it down just a little bit just to kind of give it a bit more of uh, to show the wood grain just a little bit more. So far, I kind of like how it looks, but. Anyway, so while I let this, let this sit, I'm actually going to make the pick guard next. So I already cut out a piece of cardboard just as like a little, uh, kind of like as a trace just to use on a piece of wood that I have. Because I'm going to make something out of, well, wood. Stain the wood and see how it goes. And then, yeah, I think just, so I'm going to do it very small just to cover up the holes. Just like that, it'll be perfect because I want to be able to actually show all this wood and how, well, I think it looks nice, but how decent all this looks. Instead of having something <clears throat> as big as this covering the entire thing, because I th kind of think something like this is just a little too obnoxious, in my personal opinion. Something like this versus this. So, gonna create something out of that. I'll just put this off to the side for now. Unfortunately, I don't have a rotary tool in order to cut out the inside, but what I'll do is just cut out the piece just for now. I might make two because this thing is actually pretty thin and pretty flimsy so I think I'll make two of them glue them together just to make it a little thicker. And there we go, easy. Uh, I do have a pair of scissors. Like I said, this thing's pretty thin, so let's see if actually just a pair of scissors will cut out the outside of this at least. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Okay, I'll cut this out. Make two, glue them together, and then I'll get on to the next piece. Alright, so I routed this out. Looks quite nice right now. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to sand the insides here, and as well as the sides. Make it nice and smooth. Also try and get rid of this residue that's right here for some reason. And then once that's done, just like I said before, just stay in the front here. And then maybe oil it. I'll think about that part. And that should be done. But I think I'll just do this part off camera because it's loud and kind of tedious. But I'll get back to you once I'm done. Okay, finished off the pick guard. Looks nice and smooth now. Even sand down the top just a little bit. Still haven't stained it, but I'll do that part later. Yeah, nice and smooth along the insides and the sides. The only downside is because the back was kind of like this veneer of some sort. Don't really know what it is. The other second piece that I had kind of came off kind of in the middle so it's just sitting right here i think it'll be okay i don't really feel like standing the back of this just to make sure that this thing sticks like this thing is a little flimsy but i don't see this thing breaking necessarily so just gonna keep it as is and hope it works later on then just keep this thing as a spare for later okay on to the next part hey okay so i've been waiting for a while and that linseed oil is absolutely terrible. It literally takes like 24 hours for it to cure until I can put up another coat. And right now it is dry, but it looks like I haven't even put anything on there. It's just, it's just still like a matte finish that just feels like all wood. So I finally just 
decided what the hell, go back out and buy some more true oil. This is the stuff I always, always use and always just looks fantastic. So, gonna add a little bit more of this now. Just a very, very, very small coat on the headstock here and then on the body. Then I'll let this sit for about half an hour until I can finally put on the next coat. And then I'm also just gonna use my hands with a little bit of gloves, just so nothing kind of gets absorbed into either a brush or uh, a sponge or a paper towel or something like that, and just so there's no residue left over. So it's gonna just spread it on just by itself without using my fingers. Okay, got it evenly spread on this, and already it's looking pretty much like I want. Hopefully, when it dries, it'll okay, uh, stay this consistency. But we shall see. I'll just keep applying some more until it completely stays like this with a hard, glossy finish. But after I completely do that and this dries, I'm actually going to go and sand the sides of this and the back. I'm going to keep the purple, but I'm just going to sand down just a little bit just to give it a satiny finish instead of the gloss that's on there. But it's going to have to sit until it cures, until then I'll get to that. Okay, so I just got the headstock wet sanded with this 3,000 grit, uh, I don't even call it sandpaper, a cloth really. So that's nice and glossy. Next up, I'm just going to do the body. So it's a little, uh, not quite as smooth as the other part. I can't tell if you can see that in the right lighting, but it's kind of gritty in a bunch of spots. So I'm going to start off with the 4,000 or 400 grit wet sandpaper, then go to 1,000 then 3000 and what I'm actually going to do too just because this there's a little bit of purple in there but I actually feel like it's more blue than anything so what I'm going to do is hopefully it looks decent but I'm also going to use the 400 get on the sides and the back just to kind of even out this purple and try and just give it a different kind of look make it not look as glossy either just kind of match it with the, th the top but I'll start with the front with the 400 grit just to make sure that this is perfectly sanded down and then just use whatever remains on this thing on the back and sides and then go with the rest of that. Okay. 
Oh, this is just a uh, container of water, by the way. It's not like any sort of cleaner. Just plain old water. Yeah, I just put, finished sanding this down with the thousand grit sandpaper. What I'm just going to do next, very quickly, before I get to the three thousand grit, is I'm just going to apply just the uh, black ink just to stain this, let it dry, and then I'll continue on with the sanding. So this one should be just very quick and easy. Definitely want to put my gloves on here because this kind of stains the skin. Okay, then it's going to add a little bit of water in here just to mix it up a little bit. And then some of the black. Put that up. Okay. So far that just looks like a brown stain. So I might see what it looks like with just the ink on there, just to make it a little thicker. Sure. Let's apply just a little bit of the black stuff. Put this on here by itself. That's a little better. Should have went with the ink right away. Okay, so still looks a little on the brown side, but that's because the wood is brown itself. So, I've got to let that dry and sand it down just a little bit, just to hopefully give it, uh, show the grain. <clears throat> and now, just going to set the side, and we'll get back to that.
the entire body. 